Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, you will learn that how to find the slope and deflection of a beam using the movement area theorems. Movement area theorems are also called Mohor's method. Okay, I have been given a question which states that we have to determine the slope and displacement at point C for this beam. Okay, shown below, assuming EI is constant, and we have to use the movement area theorems. We can see this is an overhanging beam of a span 15 meters. We have two supports for this beam. At A, there is a, a pin support, and at B, there is a roller support. And one concentrated load of 15 kilonewton is applied at point C. Okay, first uh, we will uh, uh, in, uh, we will learn about the moment area method. So moment area method has two terms. Okay, the first term states that the change in slope between any two points on the elastic curve equals the area of m by ei diagram between the two points okay m by ei diagram is simply if you divide the uh, bending moment diagram by ei okay uh, that is the flexural rigidity of the beam you will get the m by ei diagram okay so change in slope between any two points on elastic curve is the equal is equal to the area of m by e diagram between these two uh, points okay you can uh, see okay change in uh, slope uh, between a and uh, b okay this will be equal to the area of m by ei diagram between point a and b okay this theta b slash a this is the uh, slope of the tangent at b measured with respect to the tangent at a okay and here it is in the clockwise direction the second term states that the vertical deviation of the tangent at point A uh, of the beam on the elastic curve with respect to the tangent extended from another point B equals the movement of the area under the M by E diagram between these two points A and B. And this movement is computed about the point, okay, the point on the elastic curve where the deviation is to be determined. If I have to find the vertical deviation of tangent at A with respect to the tangent at B, I will find the movement of the area of the M by E diagram about point A. That will be equal to the vertical deviation of tangent at A with respect to the tangent at B. And similarly, vertical deviation of tangent at B with respect to the tangent at A will be equal to the movement of the area of the M by E diagram but about point B. Okay. This uh, vertical deviation of tangent at A with respect to the tangent at B is not equal to the vertical deviation of tangent at B with respect to the tangent at A. Okay. Now coming back to our question. So first we will uh, determine the vertical reactions for this beam to draw the moment diagram. So let us assume that RA and RB are the vertical reactions at A and B respectively in the upwards direction. Okay, and then you will take uh, moment support support B equal zero, assuming that clockwise moments are positive and anti-clockwise are negative. So since RA is in the upper direction, its moment about B is RA into 10 and moment of 15 kilonewton about point B is plus 15 into 5. Both are clockwise moments. This gives me the value of RA equal to minus 7.5 kilonewton since uh, this uh, RA uh, is negative, it means its direction is downward. Our assumed direction is wrong. RA acts in the downward direction. For a vertical equilibrium of forces, okay, RB, it will be equal to 15 plus RA. Okay, so RB, that is vertical reaction at B, it will be equal to 22.5 kilonewton and it will act in the upwards direction. After finding the reactions, now we can draw the bending moment diagram. So moment at A, it will be equal to 0. Moment at B, it will be minus 7.5 into 10, which is 75 kilonewton meter. And moment at C, it will be minus 7.5 into 15 plus 22.5 into 5, which is equal to 0. You can see bending moment diagram. And if you divide it by EI, you will get the M by EI diagram. Since EI is constant, okay. So bending moment diagram uh, will uh, be same as M by EI diagram. Okay, you just have to divide the values by EI. So this is the M by EI diagram. Now uh, to find the uh, slope and deflection. Okay, you will first draw the elastic curve for the beam. So this is the elastic curve for the beam, the deflected elastic curve. 
always remember that movement uh, area method it does not give us the direct solution of the slope and deflection for a beam okay it gives us the angle and deviation of the tangents okay and you have to relate uh, the slope and deflection which are the unknowns first with the angles or deviation of the tangents at the point on the elastic curve to get the value of slope and deflection okay so uh, this line it is the tangent at a and tangent at b is this line and this line okay and this is the tangent at c you can see uh, uh, the slope of the tangent at c measured with respect to the tangent at a this is denoted by theta c a okay this is the slope at a which is theta a okay the vertical deviation of uh, tangent at c this is the tangent at c measured with respect to the tangent at a is denoted by t c a okay and this is delta dash this much deflection and we have to find this deflection that is delta c and this is the slope which is theta c okay we have to find theta c and delta c for this beam so uh, this is the m by ei diagram uh, using the m by ea diagram and the elastic curve theta c a this is the uh, angle uh, of the uh, slope of the tangent at c measured with respect to the tangent at a here it is in the clockwise direction okay slope of the tangent at c measured with respect to the tangent at a uh, from first term of uh, movement area method it will be equal to the area of the m by e diagram between point a and c so area of m by e diagram between point a and c is 1 by 2 okay altitude is 75 divided by ei and base is 15 meters so it will be 1 by 2 into 75 divided by ei into 15 which is minus 562.5 kilonewton meter square divided by ei okay since it is negative so it means it is clockwise as shown in the figure okay so value is 562.5 divided by ei okay it is in the clockwise direction so this is the uh, slope of tangent at c major with respect to the tangent at a after that you will find this vertical deviation of tangent at b uh, okay with respect to the tangent at a and according to the second term of movement area it will be the area movement of the area of the m by e diagram about point b so area of m by e diagram between a and b okay you have to take the area of the m by e diagram between a and b and find its movement about point b so area of m by e diagram between a and b is this triangle this big triangle okay from 0 to 10 meter its area is 1 by 2 75 divided by ei into 10 and its movement about point b will be equal to 10 by 3 okay liver arm centroid okay centroid of this triangle uh, from point b or 10 meter will be 10 by 3 okay from apex centroid is uh, 2 into base divided by 3 and from uh, this base it is h by 3 okay so uh, this uh, vertical deviation of the tangent at b with respect to the tangent at a is equal to 1250 divided by ei similarly vertical deviation of tangent at c major with respect to the tangent at a will be the movement of the uh, area of the m by e diagram about point c okay so for this we will divide this m by e diagram into two parts two triangles so movement of the first triangle will be 1 by 2 75 divided by ei into 10 okay and its centroid from 15 meter will be 5 plus 10 by 3 plus movement of the second triangle its area is 1 by 2 75 divided by ei into 5 okay and its centroid from this point c is 2 into 5 divided by 3 so vertical deviation of tangent at c with respect to the tangent at a is equal to 3750 divided by ei okay after that you will uh, find this delta dash by the theory of similar triangles so delta dash okay divided by this uh, vertical deviation of tangent at b with respect to the tangent at a 
okay because the will these will be two similar triangles delta dash divided by tba it will be equal to 15 total length is 15 divided by 10 okay so delta dash it will be 15 by 10 since we already know the value of tba it's 1250 divided by ei so delta dash it will be 1875 divided by ei okay after that you will find theta a so theta a simply it will be equal to this tba divided by lab tba is 1250 divided by ea and lab length of, of ab portion is 10 meter so theta a will be 125 divided by ea now theta c okay theta c this theta c if you subtract from theta c a this theta a you will get theta c so slope at c this is uh, equal to slope of the tangent at c measured with respect to the tangent a at a minus slope at a okay so theta c a we already know it okay it's 562.5 divided by ea and theta a is 125 divided by ea so its value is equal to 437.5 ei and from the figure you can see it is in the clockwise direction okay so this is the value of slope at c now deflection at c deflection at c that is this delta c it will be equal to tca minus delta dash so tca is 3750 divided by ei and delta dash it's 1875 divided by ea so deflection at c is 1875 divided by ei okay so this is how you can find the slope and deflection uh, for, for a beam using the movement area term this is a beginner problem it is uh, just to understand the concept we have more complicated problems and i will try to solve uh, them okay and prepare a video solution for the problems uh, you just have to remember that move uh, this movement area method or the mohurs method it does not give us the direct solution of the slope and deflection it only gives us the uh, angle or angle and deviation of the tangents okay and you have to relate these angles and deviation to the unknown that is the slope or the displacement to get the values okay i hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learn something new if you found this video helpful you can subscribe to my channel share this video okay thanks for watching master civil engineering and stay tuned